Hey guys, this is Andy with the Talos Avalanche Center. It's Saturday, February 29th on the leap year. We're out here in Columbine drainage on a north aspect. And what we're looking at and what we keep talking about with our persistent slab problem, our persistent weak layers, is that we have a, a lot of spatial variability, especially in snowpack depths. Uh, depths. If you go to the Wheeler uh, Lakeside or Williams Lakeside, we're finding a lot deeper, deeper snowpacks over there. And we don't have these weak faceted snow in here. But on this aspect, and we're not just digging some shallow spot, we're actually in the start zone of an avalanche path. Looks like good skiing, okay? Is that when we, when we poke in, we're finding a shallow faceted snowpack with a little bit of a crust on top, a little bit of a new sun crust with near surface facets just below that, and then just really weak faceted snow, weak sugary faceted snow underneath. So when we're talking about this persistent weak layer, persistent slab problem, we're talking about slopes that have this shallower snowpack structure where we're not healing, okay, with these facets. So take the time to dig because this aspect doesn't have a huge substantial crust in here, but other aspects do have cohesive slabs on top, sitting just above this weak faceted snow, and that's what we're concerned about. So when you do get out here, take the time to dig down because otherwise you're not gonna know what's underneath you. It looks like this storm on Sunday is gonna be less impressive than what they were initially thinking. Uh, and we might be seeing a, a week of high pressure, but when we do finally get snow, think about adding a load on top of this. It's almost like early season conditions in some spots out here. So that's what we're talking about with our persistent slab problem. If you do get out, please submit observations. It just helps out the avalanche forecast and stay safe.